They lied. What was the issue that was extremely important to you in casting your vote? 42% uh, said the answer was corruption in Washington. Never before has an individual who has been steadfast to our principles risen as high as Tom DeLay. Thank God Tom DeLay is the majority leader in the House. This is a very special day. He has perfected the dark art of raising corporate money through all its various forms and to use it on behalf of his agenda in his own personal political career. He's taken politics a step further than anybody had ever seen it before by going after the lobby, people on K Street in Washington, to insist that special interests hire only Republican lobbyists. I mean, that's really extraordinary. There absolutely was a master plan. Tom DeLay's goal was a permanent majority of Republicans in the U.S. Congress. He needed the House of Representatives to redistrict the state of Texas so he could gain a Republican majority, gain more seats in Congress. They won the House, then they set about redrawing the state's congressional line three years after the census. And, and that's how Tom DeLay got five additional seats in Congress. For Texas House races was money from all over the country. But why were they pouring money into Texas? We are now in charge. Our chairmen are in charge. We can hold hearings, the kinds of hearings that we want to see. They were told that in order to get a meeting with Tom Blake to discuss their need for this legislation, that they needed to make a $25,000 contribution to a, an organization called Texas for a Republican Majority. It was an illegal expenditure and illegal fundraising on their behalf. Texas Republican Tom DeLay got indicted in Texas, denied wrongdoing, and then up and quit. Do you hope and expect that Tom DeLay will return to be a majority leader? Yes. Well, I like him. And plus, uh, uh, when he's over there, we get our votes to the House. Nowhere did the influence of lobbyists have more impact on the Congress than with so-called earmarks, projects that individual members of Congress can slip into spending bills usually without any oversight whatsoever. In 2005, President Bush signed one with 6,371 earmarks. Jack Abramoff used untold amounts of money to buy congressional support. The